Welcome back to the channel, folks. Today, we're checking out the Can-Am Defender behind me and how much it can haul. You can see uh, the neighbor down there in his uh, four series, John Deere. We're gonna load this thing up, which we've already done a load. You'll see some footage of that with some manure because I have a spot in my property right outside my front area that really hasn't grown grass very well in the last year. So uh, we're gonna see how much this can handle as far as weight goes. But I also wanna show you like surface area, right? What kind of space one load of this dump truck basically will cover. So I'll show you the area. So we come out to the front of my property. This, uh, basically this whole area all the way down is kind of what we're mainly going after. But you can see some of this area up here just is very patchy. And I do live on the mountain, so it's tough to grow up here. But we're going to cover this area here. I would say it's uh, every bit of uh, probably 10 by 15 feet that we're going to cover. You can kind of just see it's like a perfect square that we're going around. So let's see how much we can cover. All right, folks. Put this thing to work. Quick note running at 68 degrees in here with the AC on. If you're actually buying this thing to work in it all the time, unlike me, I would highly recommend it. This thing is absolute workhorse while still being super comfortable. See Dan here in the 4 Series John Deere gonna fill me up. Check it out. 4720, using about half buckets as we load it up here. That way we don't kind of overwhelm it. There's about a half bucket. You can tell it squats it a little bit. Not too bad. I think you can put close to a thousand pounds on the back of these. Don't quote me on that, but uh, we'd say if we put in two of these half buckets for at least a few hundred pounds. Really not squatting too bad. I mean, a little bit. You can tell for sure, but seems to be handling it quite well. I'm gonna do a third bucket here. I feel like this is probably the max you'd wanna do. Maybe you could get a little Western and, and do a little bit more. Oh yeah, that one squatted her. Nice. Get good neighbors that have big equipment. Yeah, you can see a nice squat there. Suspension is uh, looking like it's handling it pretty well though. Flat. All right, so in the machine here, and uh, you can see we got a full load in the back. Let's see how she does here. I'm gonna pop her in uh, low gear, obviously. Right off the bat. Can uh, definitely tell her some weight, but I mean, this is pretty sweet. I'm gonna take the long, the long way around so we can get a feel for it. Luckily, my neighbor is literally uh, our driveway is just uh, basically connect to each other, so not a far drive here. But I mean, we're cruising 35, 3800 RPM. Uh, six to 10 miles an hour felt pretty easy. It doesn't seem to be like stressing at all. A little more throttle, 4,000 RPM, 10 miles an hour. <laughs> it feels pretty good. I'm very impressed, very happy with how this is handling it. All right, here she is. Kind of parked right over top of that square area I was telling you about. Man, I love this thing. Do uh, a little tailgate down easy enough there's a latch on this side same spot on the other side so you can dump it from either way and just pop her and put a little effort into it and that's it easy easy pull her forward just a bit here
So, and you can see, I mean, she clears out pretty well. Give it a little shake, maybe. Yeah, maybe not so much. It is manure, a little sticky. Do this little method. Easy enough. Pull her down, latches in, clean bucket, and that's what you get. So, obviously the sun's kind of weird here, as you can tell. It's a weird time of day. But uh, I was in the back of it. You don't realize it, but that stuff is very, very heavy, wet manure. So, we're going to see how much it covers here after we spread it out a little bit, and that will show you what one bucket does. Dan back at it, dropping some more manure across the property. Let Dan know if you think he should start a YouTube channel. Neighbor Dan, he is the man. He's got that badass shop down there. He knows how to run a tractor. A lot of cool attachments on that tractor. So like I said, I've been trying to get him to uh, join up YouTube. Drop in the comments if you think he needs his own channel around that awesome tractor. Did a little bit of raking. As you can see, we got this square that we pointed out earlier, all covered up. That was all in the back of the Can-Am. I would say there's uh, an inch to half an inch pretty evenly throughout this whole area that we uh, dumped that in. So <clears throat> if you're trying to kind of estimate how much the back of your Can-Am can hold, obviously it'll vary with the material. You know, this is very dense, uh, heavy, wet material compared to like sand or something like that. But uh, it really does hold a lot more than it kind of looks when you dump it out and it hauls really, really well. So, uh, extremely happy. Got it sitting over here. This thing is an absolute unit and would highly, highly recommend this thing to anybody that is, you know, looking for something to use around their property, plowing, hauling, uh, whatever you need. I mean, it is really doing all I needed to do. So hope you guys enjoyed this video. Catch you on the next one. Take it easy.